hello everyone welcome back to skyrim oh i can't wait to play this um i did a little smithing on my own that's why we are here currently because we left this castle wow she's so beautiful um so let's just go actually hold on incredible i talked so to her a little incredible. bit she really seems like she is sad the soul cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion the realm of the daedra <clears throat> it's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Why was your mother so fascinated by that? Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Hmm. Ideal Masters? Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. Oh, God. Are you sure they exist? I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to communicate with them. Hmm. You give the Ideal Masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. <laughs> fools? Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. Hmm. But you always... That's a long story. <clears throat> okay. I guess... We kind of have to go way back, to the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Do you know where vampirism came from? No. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. <clears throat> For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift. But they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. So, do you regret being a vampire? Nobody's ever asked me that before. I... I don't know. Aww. I think mostly I hate what it's done to my family. Uh, how? Well, you've met most of us. <laughs> my father's not exactly the most stable. Yep. And eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. Aww. And it all ended with me being locked oh, underground my for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. Are you okay? I will be. Just give me a little time. Uh, oh, my cat. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, so there was an option to ask her, did she ever think about curing? Can you help her with that if that's what she wants? Okay, let's do a big entrance. Hello! That looks scary. I feel terrible for the dead who end up here for eternity. Seems awful. Like they're still suffering. Back to third person. Back to third person. Okay, oh, is that a ghost? My cat. Okay, hold on. I have to pause because my cat is not gonna chill. Okay. <clears throat> I think my cat is okay now. She's in my lap. But I can't really move a lot. Because she's gonna go away. I can't imagine choosing to come here. Mm -hmm. My mother must have been terrified. It looks so scary. What's this thing? Soul husk. Hello. That's the last time I argue with a Dromora. What are you? Everything is so scary here. The clouds, the sky. <laughs> it's all wrong. Everything's wrong. I heard stories about the soul camp, but never thought I'd see it myself. Mm. So far, it's about what I imagined. At least the pain is gone. What's here? Ooh, hold on. That's not special. Hello. Is there no end to this nightmare? Oh. Okay. 
Who's there? There! Done and done. Oh. Where'd you come from? <clears throat> done and done. Huh. Okay. Um. Hello? Leave me be. Mm. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. <coughs> Who's that? Arvac, my horse. Oh. We came to this horrible place together. We were attacked by monsters, so I told him to run. Please, he's such a loyal creature. And he's been running for so long. You have to save him. A place like this will change you. Arvac? Arvac! Where are you? Arvac, please come back! Come back! That's how I help him? What? <laughs> okay, uh, hold on. Where is that quest? Oh yeah, it's here. Um, okay. Hmm. So we're looking for her mom. Why did she come here? You know what this reminds me of? Kinda looks like RuneScape. Leave me be. I don't know which part actually from the RuneScape, because I played it when I was very little. <gasps> what? Are you Arbak? Hold on! Hold on! Nope. <gasps> Shut up! <gasps> <gasps> Hello. Well, look what we have here. Someone with flesh on their bones. Let's just say I sold something to a guy who turned out to work for a whole coven of necromancers. How in the name of Xenithar was I to know the ingredients were phony? Do I look like someone that would double cross a necromancer? Hmm. That's how you got you here. You got it. Horse, wagon, and all. Plopped here without so much as a. I used to be one of the best traders in High Rock, you know. How people would track me down just to see what I had for sale. Anything left? Very funny. And what exactly are you going to pay me with? Take a look around. Gold doesn't exactly win you any friends around here. Hmm. I'll tell you what. I appreciate what you're trying to do, so I'll take it. The only thing I see around here in abundance are soul husks. Uh, you know, those ugly fungus looking things growing out of the ground. Yeah, I know. Bring me, say, Make 25 of them, and you can rummage through what was left on my cart. Oh, I kind of want that. Odds and ends I've gathered over the years. Well, used to gather <clears throat> before all of this nonsense happened to me. Tell me what you're looking for, and maybe we can make a deal. If you have the husks. I don't have it. No husks, no sale. Guess you have some scavenging to do. Okay. Ah! Shut up. <gasps> My mouse isn't really working. Fuck. In the middle of all of this. Where are they? Ouch, ouch. Crab, my mouse. Oh, big castle. Kinda like uh, she had when she was in the real world. Oh, my cat. Oh, kitty cat. Hello, I have a feeling. Oh, is that her mom? We can't Mother? enter. Mother! 
be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Um... Keeping safe? her safe. You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. No! When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Oh. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure blooded. That sounds vampire. horrible. We call such confluences the daughters of Cold Harbor. <sighs> okay. Willingly? It was expected of her. Oh, just okay. as it was so, expected of not me. Not really willingly? Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Tyranny of Sun requires Serana's blood? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect <clears throat> Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as yeah. far from her as possible. Also kill her? Obtained really? Ariel's bow. And Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon. The tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? I will kill him. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana believes in me, why won't you? Serana? Stranger may call herself vampire, <clears throat> but she knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to her? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known her than you've done Aww. in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just Aww. expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed <clears throat> with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again, but I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, 
We need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear mm. to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Okay. Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires oh, that surround okay. these ruins. That sounds dangerous. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Okay. One more word of warning. There's oh, a dragon oh. that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Okay. Be careful, and keep my daughter safe. These headphones are so annoying, because when I play this, I usually play it for like two or three or four hours, so then my ears start to hurt from them. So I kind of put them a little behind, so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> um, and now they're, they just keep falling off. Very annoying. Uh, where are we going? Oh, that's a bird. Oh, it's not. Amethyst, Magicka. Is this just free loot? Wow. Oh god. It's here. Ah! Uh. Hello! Hold on, what's happening? Ah, he's stealing my health! Leave me alone! Why are you stealing my health? Where are these keepers? They are annoying. More soul husk. We need 25. Oh, there we go. Ah! He looks like from the Dweller Ruins. <laughs> Ow! My game lagged. I thought I died. Okay, uh, destruction. Where is it? Healing. Line of healing. Yeah, he is from the Dwemer ruins. Ooh. Black Soul Gem. Enemies on the map. Enemies on the map. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Is this thing following me? Hole in the sky. So what do I do with these things? Is that does that go with my soul gems or stuff like that? What's this thing? Looks scary. More husk. Yay! 
Ooh, you scared me. How do I get him? Isn't that the horse that I have to get? Hello. <gasps> oh. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Oh, Serana is here. Ow, 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 ow. Where are they? Oh, wow. Not enough magicka! Uh, no, what am I doing? <laughs> Not enough magicka and goes to magic. Uh, magicka. Did they kill her? The bastards! Fuck off! Ouch! I can eat this? Oh! I only have 13. Food. Uh, where are my potions? Healing, please. Oh, she's up. Thank God. Ow, 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 ow. I forgot to activate a different stone when I still have the Eternax stone. Okay. Ow. He does more damage than the other guy. Do you have any blood? <laughs> ah, I don't have magic. But light eye armor is at 57. Great news. I'm not gonna die like this. Okay. Okay, there was the big guy. <gasps> I can't load anyone. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Mm. Ah. Oh, field. All the soldiers here are filled. Oh god, you scared me. Why are you attacking? Oh, where are you attacking? There's one there. Hmm. Done and done. Weird. What's this thing? Greater salt. Poison. Soldier. Mm-hmm. Keep her things and get the <laughs> Wow, shield. Yeah, we'll do it. Just hold on. I'm loading. <laughs> um Okay. Ready. Oh hi, I found your pages. How does anyone expect me to write my opus with all of these rude interruptions? What do I mean, indeed? If I hadn't lost all of the pages, I wouldn't be in this predicament, and we wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> she sat down. <laughs> Very well. I suppose a moment or two of my time will hurt. I okay. am Jib. Some call me Saint Jib. <laughs> Others call me Jib the Eradicator. Oh, never. Uh, perhaps you've heard of me. I can't say that I'm surprised by your answer. Until I get my second volume published, no one will ever know of my achievements. A book? I'd hardly call a 26-volume epic simply a book. <laughs> Surely you've heard of the rise and fall of Saint <laughs> Chip the Eradicator, hero of Morrowind and savior of the Dunmer. Mm. Shorter title. Maybe you should leave the writing to an expert. Stop making foolish suggestions. How is it? Terrible. Simply terrible. 
I was in the midst of writing the second volume, and they just threw me into this prison. It's unfair. That damned Ramora and his minions. They didn't even give me a chance to explain who I was. Well, I assume so. They cast a spell at me from some kind of strange black crystal. Next thing I knew, I arrived here. My what? Wait. That means... Oh, he doesn't even know he's dead. No. All these wasted months, or has it been years? I don't even remember how much time has passed. No, my work will never see the light of day. My name will be forgotten. Perhaps. Do you have a way out of here? Well, yeah, but he can't... Yeah. He can't leave. Maybe I can't leave. But my writings can. In order to write the second volume of my opus, I need the notes from my first volume. Otherwise, I need to do all this from memory. When I was tossed in here, I felt myself falling. I dropped the pages I've been holding. There were ten of them in all. Ten. Find them for me, please. I beg you. Okay. Now, where was I? I found page number five here. And I think at the start, there was one page. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna really <laughs> do this quest. <laughs> um... I have the one with the horse, I have the one with the husk. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get either of those. God. Okay, where is the dragon? Oh no, is Serana angry at me again? Oh fuck, I don't know. Maybe she is! Did she? I punched her by accident. Okay, I think she's not. No, she's not. I still remember how to fight. That was so cool! <laughs> Did you see that? Um let's see. Soul husk, they have it. Okay. Soul gems, soul husks. Cool. Where is the dragon? Hello? Harvac! Oh! You saved him! His soul is free, I can feel it! He's such a loyal beast. Here, I'll teach you how to call him. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Oh. Goodbye, hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. Oh. He's so nice. Okay. This was weird. I couldn't exit the conversation again. <laughs> oh no, these guys. Okay. Pretty easy. Where is the rest of them? Oh, there we go. That'll teach you. What do I do? What? Oh, I know what this means. This means a dragon. Oh no, My even worse. No. Oh. Huh? <laughs> he fell off! Okay. Uh, where do we go? Did she say there was gonna be a dragon? I see a dragon. 
Where did I go? What? Oh, here. Well, the only thing I can think of is to jump into that portal thing again. And I don't see anything else here. You're back. I yearn to see the great dunes of Hammerfell once again. Hmm. Is she actually mean? Where are we going? Oh, here. Or not. That's a chest. Where'd you come from? Oh, you were sleeping. <laughs> okay. Um This is probably not even the place where I should go. Oh. There we go. Hi. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. <laughs> okay, can you give us the scroll? Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Where's that? I can't believe we. This poison recipe. I think I have that, but okay. <gasps> Husk! Yay! Wait, I hear something. Oh. Hello. His glory. I think I have a scroll, but I don't really know if that's smart. Because my friends are on the bed also. They interrupted me! Fuck off! <laughs> oh my god! Come on! Oh, it's very laggy. What's happening? I'm using entire scroll just for these two guys. That wasn't very smart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Let's do this. Not enough magic. I have a thing for that. Where is it? Mm, this thing. There's a dragon. <gasps> I don't have enough magic. Down, covered. Oh, shit. Wow, I lose all of my magic. Okay, this isn't working. 
On. No. How do I charge the thing? Oh, click T. <gasps> oh, is it charged? I think so. Oh my God. He left already. Fuck. Who is stealing my magical? That I can't search him. Are you serious? Oh my god. Wow. My astonishment. But I never thought I'd witness the death of that guy. Wow. Come on. Okay, don't mind me. To the yeah, yeah, I know. What's this? Come on, she's leading us to the scroll. Okay. Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. What makes you say that? Well, because he's a dragon. Volumes written on Dernivir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. <laughs> the soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernivir's physical form while he reconstitutes oh. himself. Minutes, hours, years, I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll, and you can be on your way. Oh, it's here. Come on, she's leading us to the scroll. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. This thing? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to the ocean. Hmm. We'll return. We will return. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. Yeah. No matter what he promises. He'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. The sooner we get the scroll going, the sooner okay. we deal with my father. Did you have anything to ask before you depart? Hmm, let's see. If I leave the Soul Cairn, can I save you? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Yay! Why don't you come back? Sure, I'm told that. How did you become imprisoned? When I entered the Soul Cairn, 
I had intended to strike a bargain with the ideal masters, the custodians of this place. What was the better gun? I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the ideal masters the souls that they craved. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. They tricked you. The ideal masters unleashed their cubes and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. You've been in prison here for all this time. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the ideal masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. Hmm. Who are they? I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the soul cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul cairn. Oh. I believe there's more to it than that. I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. In the crystal? Conduits, through which the ideal masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. Mm. The ideal masters means is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage an Necromancer has when bargaining with them. What the masters provide in return? The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of Necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the ideal masters wind up here as harvested souls. Farewell. Remember that Harkon's not to be trusted. Okay. Um, you're back. Hello. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quenarin. I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life <laughs> and death. Okay, so, okay, he's trapped. We are we speaking? Don't you try to. Didn't you try to kill me? Hmm. Didn't you try to kill me? The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. Where are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin. Or vanquisher in oh, your time. Thank you. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. Hmm. I merely wish to respectfully oh. ask a favor of you. What do you want? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. We already have a lot of dragons, so... I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. 
I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. So how can I help with that? I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. What? Do me this simple honor and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally. And teach you my thum. Just call your name in Tamriel, that's it. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. <laughs> wow. How did you end up here? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. Hmm. Hello. Aww. I'll call you, don't worry. <gasps> I have exactly 25. I was missing two. Okay. Let's see. What do you have? Brought some soul. Well, I've been so busy, I don't know. What, are you kidding me? Sword, battle axe, light armor, heavy armor, spell tone. Ooh. What do I want? I don't know. Light armor or spell tone? Light armor? Well, I hate to see it go, but what am I going to do with it here anyway? Let's see. Um, this thing? It's better than mine. Thank you! Oh! It's better than mine because I had the mask on. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Beyond that. Wow. This is so fun. Yes. Um. Uh, what does she have? This ha better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. This thing. Hmm. She's using this over this. Why? Does it bother you that you're that we are working with your father? I figured it would be more of an issue for you. Why? Don't tell me you're that naive. Really? Oh, wow. All right. Well, what do you think my father's going to do once we bring the bow to him? Do you want to use it? Of course he will. But at that point, he'll have everything he's ever wanted. He won't need either of us anymore. Ooh, you think he'll kill us? You'll have shown yourself to be strong, which means you can't be allowed to just stick around. And I'll be unnecessary once he has it. Mm, so what do we do? I think you know. Oh. We both know what's going to have to happen once we find the bow. Keep strong and eyes open. We're on a different path now. Okay. Oh, that's Getty! Well, once again, here. That's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, share, subscribe, comment. I love you for reading your comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!